Hi, Ron Maines here for my father, David Maines with 100words.ca, a two-year journey through the Bible, stopping today in Job chapters 34 and 35. I trust you're reading along with us. And our key verses are uh, 35 verses 7 and 10. If you are righteous, what do you give him? Or what does he receive from your hand? But no one says, where is God my maker? Who gives songs in the night? Many questions, but what about answers? Elihu picks up on some of the things Job has said. He points out Job's statements and then leaves it up to Job to decide whether he is right or wrong. Perhaps we can learn from this. Rather than accusing others of wrong, we can point to God's thoughts on the matter. And then we can pray fervently, leaving it up to the Holy Spirit to do his work in the other person. Jesus said, when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. Our second key verse speaks of songs in the night. In Acts chapter 16, God was there for Paul and Silas in jail who likely had questions of their own. It reads, but at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the prisoners were listening to them. We may have many questions that seem to be unanswered, but as we are faithful in praising God in the midst of them and reading his word, the answers will be revealed. Our prayer for today is, Lord God, often I come to you in the night hours. I've been through what has been called the dark night of the soul. Sometimes I've had to learn to wait as you are accomplishing your purposes in my life. I pray for grace to listen for your words of comfort and guidance. In Jesus' name, amen.